All right, so let's continue on, and we're going to work on the algorithm. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to just give you all a cheat sheet for how to do this. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to write the steps. All right, first thing you're going to do is the bottom ones, the bones is what it kind of looks like, bottom ones times the top ones, bones times tones, all right? So what I mean is bottom ones times top ones. Next thing that you're gonna do is bottom ones, the bones times the top tens, all right? So the top tens. So bottom ones times top ones, bottom ones times top tens, what do you think comes next? If you said bottom ones, the bones times the top hundreds, then you are correct. I'm going to abbreviate hundreds. So I have B1s times T1s. I have B1s times T10s. I have B1s times T100s. Remember, B stands for bottom, T stands for top. All right, so the next step is second line, ones place, zero. All right. So don't forget, second line, ones place, zero. Second line, ones place, zero. <laughs> um, you can write it better than that. But I want you all to write it some way that you remember. 210 makes sense to me because I've been teaching it. But if you need to write second line, ones place, zero, that's a huge step. So get it in there one way or the other, whether it's commas or slashes, or you literally write it. All right, so the next thing after that, is then we're going to do our bottom tens, bottom tens times top ones. So it's kind of the same now. So bottom tens times tops ones. Then we're going to do bottom tens times top tens. All right. And then finally, the last thing that you're going to do is bottom tens times top hundreds. All right, so that's the, the steps that we're going to follow. Bottom ones times top ones, bottom ones times top tens, bottom ones times top hundreds, bottom tens times top ones, bottom tens times top tens, bottom tens times top one hundreds. All right, so we're going to follow that with our colors. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is four times seven. All right, because we're doing bottom ones times top ones. Four times seven is 28. What we do is we put our 8 down here in the 1's place, and we're going to carry our 2 to the 10's place. All right. The next thing that we're going to do is bottom 1's times top 10's. Bottom 1's is 4 times top 10's is 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 more is 10. 4 times 2 is 8, but then we add those 2 from earlier, so that's actually 10. So we're going to put the 0 in the tens place and carry that one. I'm going to cross out that two because I'm done with it. All right, so there's the 10. So I put the zero down there and the one I carry over. And then finally, to finish the top row, what we're going to do is the bottom ones, four times the top hundreds. All right, so four times one is four. And then we're going to add this one. So we're actually going to get five. So my first line says 508, all right? Now, we talked about it. Second line, ones place, zero. We need to go ahead and start second line, ones place, zero. All right, now we can do our bottom tens times our top ones, all right? So our bottom tens is three times our top ones is seven. Three times seven is 21. We're going to put the one down there and carry the two above the tens. The next thing that we're looking at is we're looking at bottom tens, the three times the top tens, the two. Three times two is six, plus that two equals eight. So we're gonna get eight right there. And then finally, we are going to do bottom tens times hundreds. That's three times one. Three times one is three. So there goes our three. Next thing we're going to do is add this all together. So we'll come back in the next video and add it all together and make some connections.